Hey, Sneaky Linux back today. Back with the last of the PC Linux OS stuff, basically. Yes, I'm leaving them alone for a little bit after this. This is PC Linux OS Open Box. Now, this one is the older version because it hasn't yet been updated. But remember, they are rolling releases anyway. Okay, they are rolling of the release. Yes, indeed. So, anyway, comes with Open Box. Nice, clean, nice, clean screen. Very nice indeed. You get the basics here. Get your nice bar. You get that there. I can all your windows, time and date, sound, your clipboard, and you get four workspaces, which are called, and I'll show you in a minute. If you right click your desktop and go to desktops, they're called water, fire, earth, and air. And if you made another one, you could call it space or something, couldn't you? Okay. So anyway, you can access all the applications from right clicking on the desktop. So you can do that and it goes straight to Firefox if you wanted to, or your file manager or your terminal or the control center or synaptic check out your open box stuff and all your preferences from there if you want now we have no effects at the moment but say i wanted some effects okay it's like the last open box i did before it's the same sort of thing so if we have transparency and fading shadows so this should be nice now when we use it so if we go to the menu there you go so that can be really nice that wouldn't it under more applications, it's all the basic stuff that you would expect from PC Linux OS, okay? It's the same sort of download, there's still 600 odd downloads, you know, it's still quite large. But you do get quite a lot in it, even though it's open box. I've just changed the desktop environment. Right, LibreOffice is still 3.4, it's not 3.5 that we see in the other day, okay? So kind of that. Genie for text editing. Now, monitoring, we have your Net Palette, and we have HTOP. So if we open up HTOP, look at that. Lovely. It's using 102 of my gig of RAM, basically, and nothing on CPUs. So that's rather nice. Lovely. So it doesn't use much resources. That's good. Okay. Also hangs like the XD version over here in the boxes, if you see what I mean. But then it goes once you click on them. I think it's just a quirk of open box stroke LXDE at the end of the day. But otherwise, here we have the um, Synaptic Package Manager for doing all your Synaptic packages. So I'm going to quickly open it and put my password in. And quick shot, there's no update manager, okay? There's no update manager. And I updated this a couple of hours ago, so, and yesterday, by the way, and the day before. And there wasn't on the day before, but there was yesterday, and there is today. Photox actually updated today. Now, basically, all you do, okay, you can reload, down for the reload. Reload? No. You just mark all your upgrades. There isn't any, because I've done them all already. But that's how you update your system. You should do it quite regular. I mean, if you do it once a day, it doesn't make no difference really, does it? It just does what it says, you know? Just do it, man. Okay. Right, Firefox, because it's all updated, is the latest version of Firefox, okay? Which is 10.0.2, and I'll quickly show you that up here. And go about Firefox. There it is. We're all done. Super. This is the page, and if you want this version, this is where you get it from. Over here, the open box desktop. So if I click really quick here, you'll see what I mean. There we go. So I mean, it's nearly 700 meg, so you know, it's all right. They say it's for intermediate to advanced users. I don't actually think so. I reckon a, a beginner could get away with this without any problem whatsoever. Now, bearing in mind, this is the kernel region 2.6.38.8 BFS kernel for enablement, if you know what I mean. Comes with loads of stuff. Yeah, loads of stuff. Anyway, a lot of the stuff for PC Linux OS is out of the box, so you know, it should work. Install it and off you go and do what you have to do. Right, archiving, we have a file roller and known baker for doing your CDs and DVDs. Genie, as I said before. Bleach bit is here as well, and so is Clam. Midnight Commander, oh yeah, think that memories. Photox, Gimpy is all here in graphics. MT Paint and Shot World, there's all in them. View Noir, Xcam, Xang, Xscanning, a Flip Photo, and Photox Jocklockers for doing photo stuff. For internet, you just get Firefox, as you've just seen. Gajam, or Gajim, Instant Messenger. Never ever use it in my life. Or did I? I might have done. Slifed for your mail on XChat, of course. As I said before, Open Office is here, but it's only 3.4, as I said to you before. Okay, 3.5 is in the newer one. LibreOffice Manager, that just helps you download it. Open Office for Kids Manager, I think that's if you, you manage installations of stuff like that. I'm not going to bother click on it because it's only a short video. I'm not really too worried about it. Synaptic is also here. Sound and videos here, and we also get Radio Tray, which is a lovely little app that you should find in your repos to use on your distribution. Basically, it just sits in the tray and streams music of your choice. Now, in this version here, what we have in PC Linux OS, has a lot more channels pre installed for you. The one that comes in the WN Ubuntu repos only comes with a few. So, if I go to say Pop Rock here, 
we get Poptron as well, and Indie Pop Rock, and probably Rocky Rocky Rock 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 and Rock 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 and all that too. Okay, <clears throat> video, we have VLC and XCAM for your, uh, basically, webcam. Now, PC Links OX, open box, I like it, super duper, that's what it says on the tin, super fast and configurable, because it's open box. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later, bye bye.